Hey guys, so I am currently in a hotel room, so excuse the weird background. I'm on a work trip and I'm doing my best to film with no light and just weird hotel vibes. So I want to be as clear and upfront in this video as I humanly can be because I have essentially disabled myself from being as clear and upfront as I need to be in the recent weeks due to me going offline and not having any social media apps on my phone. Uh, but now that I'm logging back in, I'm seeing a sentiment of people who definitely want me to talk about this again, but this time in video form, and I actually want to as well, so I'm here to do that. Two weeks ago, I posted a public apology to someone that I highlighted in a recent video of mine, which is now taken down. It was a video on trans athletes. In this video, I highlighted a couple different trans athletes, and I talked about upcoming legislature that's like relevant to the topic. Uh, but long story short, one of the trans athletes named Janae, I really fumbled her story. I got her all wrong, and I said this. Something we don't often see is that Janae actually went back post-transition and competing against men. She's gone back and forth competing with men and women. But it is for no other reason than my own lack of due diligence and my own lack of sufficient research on her story that I said that. I genuinely did think it. It did not come from a deceptive place. I was under the misconception that she competes in both men and women's leagues. She corrected it and said, actually, just men's leagues. And to be frank, there is just no excuse for that kind of inaccuracy to be present in any of my videos. And I definitely never want it to happen again. There is definitely no excuse for that. I know that the stakes are much higher when you have an audience than if I'm just here shouting into the ether, which sometimes I feel like I am, to be honest. I'm sitting in a room by myself and I'm talking to a camera, which feels odd, but the reality is a lot of people are watching and, you know, I can't take it back, but I definitely, as I have been stating, am incredibly apologetic and I never want that to happen ever, ever again. So after I made contact with Janae a couple weeks ago, I got the impression that she was very receptive and forgiving, which I was very grateful for. And I took the video down and I also, once I got paid from YouTube just a couple days ago, I actually sent her the totality of the AdSense revenue that I accrued from that video. Um, I saw some people saying that was like a weird, odd move, but to me, it felt like the right thing to do. It felt like I would like to provide something even more tangible to her personally than just my apologetic words, because words only go so far. While I know some people think this was intentional deception on my part, I can guarantee you this is not the case. Lying about something that the public can then go correct you on is only slightly more dumb than not doing enough research and coming to a false conclusion. And it was a really dumb moment on my part, and I'm not taking away from that, but I also would like it to be known that it was not malicious intent or something that was intentional. Because trust me, if I could take it back, rewind time, I would obviously do that. If I misunderstand a story and then I talk about it, it leads to other people also misunderstanding the story and I totally get that. I don't know how I went from the video prior to that one with overnight shipping, a long, obnoxiously thick novel of JK Rowling's for research to doing such incredibly subpar research on the second video, but I did and it was dumb and I am sorry. I also wanna say that even if Janae competed in women's leagues, it was never my intention to send hate her way. I didn't want any hate sent her way, but I also understand that if that's the effect, then that's the effect and it's still my doing and I take full responsibility for that. I mean, it just wasn't cool to let a video like that slip through the cracks without being completely vetted and me being completely confident in it. I think even when I made the statement that she plays in both leagues, you could almost hear in my voice I wasn't super confident in it, like, because it didn't make a lot of sense to me in some ways. I thought it was a really weird aspect of the story, so if I wasn't confident in saying it, I should have just not said it. Period, point blank. Also, I know that some people are critical of the delayed response I had when I apologized to Janae, and for that, I also have to say I'm sorry. I think the unfortunate thing is it took me a lot longer than it should have to differentiate between valid criticism and hate. And it wasn't the right thing to do, but I think that for a minute there I had my blinders on because I'm so used to sort of, you know, I do controversial topics on every video. So there's always people mad. And I think to a certain extent, I was almost just in this rhythm where like, post a video, people are mad. Post a video, people are mad. But this time, obviously people were mad for a valid reason and it was always valid and I should have recognized it even sooner. You know, part of doing this is keeping your ears open to criticism and allowing that in. That's important in life in general. So I'm definitely taking this as just a learning opportunity to implement that in every area of my life here and in my real life. 
I am not infallible. I am most definitely susceptible to getting things wrong. And it's really how you respond to it once you do get it wrong that makes all the difference. And I totally get that. To everyone who knows my character and knows that it was an honest and genuine mistake without me even saying it, I definitely appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for going to bat for me. I know it's not always easy to go to bat for people on the internet, especially when they actually did objectively mess up. Like I actually did get this wrong. Unfortunately, I cannot promise that I'm never going to get anything else wrong because I am human and I definitely am going to get things wrong. But what I can promise is to work my absolute hardest to not let this type of thing happen again, to minimize the cracks for which an inaccuracy can slip through, and to just be more steadfast in reactions to things as well. I'm also highly aware that apologies, especially on the internet, are not just some magical fix all of the situation and that you really do have to pledge to just do better going forward and i'm definitely giving each and every person watching this that pledge it's been a lot of self-reflection for me these past couple weeks of me logging off after posting that apology and you know i know a lot of people were frustrated that i went offline and want me to just come back and say more and i understand that perspective but i also think it was healthy hard but healthy for me to have that self-reflective time and i feel like i'm better for it to be honest so I repeat, Janae does not compete in both leagues. Janae competes in just the one, just men's. And I'll end this with just another sorry to Janae for getting you wrong and allowing, by proxy, other people to get you wrong. Wasn't cool. And thank you to everyone for hearing me out. And until next time.